Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about the various factors that affect the action of poison. So these factors include gender, size, age, rules of administration, the disease, environmental factors, psychological factors, tolerance, etc. So let's discuss them one by one. First comes gender. Now gender can be either male or female. So uh, if you talk about females, then females have comparatively smaller bodies than males. So they require lesser dose than males. So this is so because they react more strongly to the drugs. So they require lesser amount of drug as compared to males then comes the size of the person now a person can be very thin or the person can be average sized or can be very obese or very tall or very small in size so according to the size of the person the dose is going to increase so the size of the person and whether or not they're fat or thin is going to have effect on the drug action now if an average dose of medication is given to a person who is very tall or very obese or very small very thin then the concentration of drug in the bloodstream will not be the right amount in order to produce the effect that you want because you have given an average dose for a person who is not having an average size so for a person who is very tall or very obese the amount of dose has to be increased then comes the age now the bodies of very young or very old patient don't function exactly like the average adult body this is so because in very young people in infant the body systems the organs they are not fully developed and not fully functional not that properly functional hence they are going to have problem during the metabolism of the particular drug and if you talk about the elderly person then uh, since they are very old so their organs are not uh, that functionally apt hence they are going to have problem in the metabolism of the drug again so according to the age of the person if the person is young or old or average then that uh, and according to this also the dose that is given to the person is going to be changed then the route of administration there are a number of routes of administration like for example there's intravenous intramuscular oral rectal nasal inhalation so there are different routes of administration so the route by which you are taking a drug is also going to have is also is also going to have different action now the drugs are absorbed distributed and excreted at different rates when given by different means or routes now if we talk about the um, intravenous method wherein the blood is directly injected into the bloodstream then that is the fastest route of uh, fastest route by which a drug can show its effect and the slowest is when it is administrated through the mouth or when it when the drug is taken orally then diseased condition if the person's body is somehow diseased like for example the organs like kidney and liver if they are diseased then the drug metabolism or the elimination process is going to be hindered because liver and kidney they are the main organs for the biotransformation the metabolism of the drug they are the organs that are going to break down and eliminate your drugs so if there's any diseased condition in these main organs then that is going to affect the metabolism of the drug how the drug is going to function in your body then comes the environmental factors now the environment can be either very hot if the environmental conditions are hot then that heat is going to relax the blood vessels and that is going to speed up your circulation the blood circulation and hence the drug will be acting faster but if the weather is cold then that cold is going to slow down your blood circulation because by because it has constricted the blood vessels and hence the circulation is slow so the drug is going to act slower also at high altitudes the drug some of the drugs might be ineffective because there are lower levels of oxygen in your blood at higher altitudes so the drug might become ineffective at higher altitudes then there comes psychological factors also so the 
thinking of the person is also going to affect the action of your drug for example the mental state is very important if a person is having a negative emotion emotional state or the person is angry or jealous or is nervous anxious then that is going to have an effect on the drug action so the efficacy of a drug is affected by a patient's belief system the attitude of the person towards the treatment and the expectations of the patient for that particular treatment that is also going to uh, affect the um if uh, the action of that particular drug so psychological factors are also there a patient's expectation can also affect the drug action which is a psychological effect known as the placebo effect and that can add to the effectiveness of the medical therapy then there comes tolerance tolerance means that you have if you have taken a drug for a very long time like for example alcohol you are taking alcohol on a regular basis for a very long time then what will happen is after a certain amount of time that amount of alcohol that you have been taking is not going to show any effect on your body anymore so this is because you have developed tolerance to that drug to that alcohol to that amount of alcohol so the, if you want to have that effect of alcohol on your body then you got to take more amount of alcohol next time so higher dose of the drug is to be taken in order to achieve the same effects as when the person first used it this is because your body has become habitual to that amount of drugs so it has stopped showing any effect to that amount so if you want to uh, feel that um, effect of the drug then you got to take more amount then dose the dose is the amount of drug that is taken at any one time so if you are taking lesser amount of drug then that is going to have lesser action of the drug on your body and if the more drug is taken then the more amount of action will be done by that particular drug on to your body so dose also affects how a particular drug is going to um affect your body so this was all about the various factors that affect the action of a drug i hope that you understood everything if there's any problem then you can let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to help and thank you for watching this video till the end please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you